across the shore in distant lands with dark stars overhead. The prince was fast asleep until a cat jumped on his bed. I found a secret garden, said the cat with much delight. Excitedly, they ran outside, explorers in the night. They walked through the golden garden gate. Look at the pretty trees. They walked along the pretty pebble path. Look at the colorful flowers. They walked past the fabulous flowing fountain. Look at the dancing water. Look, look, look. But the prince didn't like the garden and started kicking down the trees. He dug up flowers, grabbed the hedges and pulled off all the leaves. He ruined everything for fun. The cat watched on in fear. What a mistake I made, the cat cried out. I should never have brought him here. Curiosity in July, following such a sweet spring, it started when I took this job, but I was not the first. They are with me. Night fell the first day, and the hours dragged on. Still we cared for the child. We spoke of Haster and Casilda in their absence. While outside, the fog rolled in as the cloud waves roll and break on the walls. Oh, the sin of such innocent eyes. Clear as crystal, understood by the ignorant and wise alike. More precious than jewels, more soothing than music, more awful than death. Then, as I fell, I knew that the baby in yellow had opened their tattered mantle, and it was only God to cry to now.
When the rabbit came to visit, the prince said time to play. But his big red eyes they scared her, and she didn't want to stay. Quickly towards the exit, the tiny rabbit hopped. The prince ran right behind her and screamed she must be stopped. he chased her. Hop, hop, hop. A relentless, futile flight. Hop, hop, hop. Round and round inside the palace, in and out of space and sight. Hop, hop, hop. The prince, he couldn't catch her. His heart was filled with wrath. The rabbit slipped right out the door and vanished down the path. The prince cried out, I need new friends, more, now, another. I'll bring you some, don't worry now, replied his loving, caring mother.
shone bright outside. The wind it blew and blew, oh no, the curtains flew open wide. The little prince was in his bed and couldn't get to sleep. So he called out for his mother, please go and find my sheep. I'm thirsty, said the prince. So the sheep fetched a drink. I am dirty, said the prince. So the sheep changed his clothes. I am tired, said the prince. Let me count you. One, two, three. Just one more thing, said the prince. Before I drift to sleep, he opened up his big red eyes and turned to face the sheep. Come join me in my dreams. Stay forever in my head. Obediently, the sheep stepped forth. Its mind consumed by dreams.